This is your live continuing coverage of CES Unveiled on the Michael Arts' show, a special edition of the Michael Arts' show on Be Terrific, at Be Terrific TV on all social media. I'm Michael Arts. Joining us now is Emily. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Excellent. I'm excited to be here. I'm glad you're here. Uh, are you from Quell? I am. All right. Uh, Quell is a really cool product we saw here last year at CES Unveiled Yes, for the I first remember time. you talked to our, our new COO, Frank McGillan. Yes, and it, it's, it's a, a, a very innovative product. It is. A lot of people asked me after that if it worked or if this was some kind of mysterious, like, I hope it works. And uh, I, we've tried it and we like it. My biggest problem is I don't have chronic pain anywhere, so it's hard to tell. Which is very good. That it, right, I should say, mm -hmm. uh, thankfully. It's not, it's not a problem, it's just to test mm -hmm. the product, it's, it makes it a little challenging. Yes. But Quell is a great product for pain relief. It's something you can wear under your clothing or just wear with your clothing. It looks like uh, one of those uh, tendon relief guards you'd wear playing tennis or something for tennis elbow. Uh, and you're wearing it right now. On I your am calf. wearing one right yeah. now. So you wear it one to two inches below the knee, regardless of where you're experiencing pain. And the reason for that placement is because you have a nice um, group of sensory nerves there, and you're stimulating those nerves with electrical stimulation. And what that does is it signals to the brain that it needs to release its own natural pain blockers. So you have endogenous opioids in your body. And that's what allows the Quell device to deliver widespread pain relief, even though you're just wearing it on the upper calf. So you could have back pain, you could have um, arthritic pain in the knees or someplace else. I do get hip pain, and we weren't, we weren't mm -hmm. sure if this could work for that. And, and, and lately I've been very good about not having hip pain. I've been doing the things I need to do to not uh -huh. have it. Um, but I think it's from playing hockey. And, and my, when it hurts, it is, it, it's mm -hmm. just awful. Uh, it, it, you can't get comfortable. It's mm -hmm. so like debilitating, really. Uh, is this something that could work on the kind of hip pain I have even? Maybe I should you know, uh, try it when I have hip pain. That would be a good time to try yeah. it, definitely. All right, so, I'm going to do it then. <laughs> chronic pain is defined as persistent pain that lasts for three months or longer. So yeah, I, don't, I don't have that. I, I go in waves. Mm -hmm. I've had three weeks, but not three months. Yes, yeah. so typically people with chronic pain, it's very disruptive to their lives because sure. it's happening on an ongoing basis for a period of months or even years. So um, this is really a good product for those type of people who are suffering from chronic pain that's really disruptive to their lives. So it could be that it's slowing them down from that, their activities, just like wanting to get out for a walk or to garden or what have you, or it's keeping them from getting off the couch because they're in so much pain. Now, do you have any chronic pain? Luckily, I do not. Congratulations. Yeah. But you can wear it without doing any harm. I can wear it without doing harm. I do a lot of um, wearing the device just to see how it feels, to try out new features and functionality that we will be unveiling at CES 2017 that I can't talk about oh, yet. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You can't do this. <laughs> you got to give us a hint. Tell us something. So I think one of the things that we'll be able to talk about at CES 2017 that we weren't able to talk about at 2016 is the user stories from mm -hmm. people who started using the device shortly after its launch who have now been able to use it for six months, a year, a year and a half. And we didn't have those stories in 2016 because the device was still so new. What about features though? <laughs> Well, you'll have to come back and see us well, at we'll CES, CES 2017. So we'll find out. But I mean, you could give our viewers who are very supportive of Quell and mm -hmm. be terrific. I mean, we got to give them a little tidbit. We had you on last year too. I know. I, you know, I don't have the authority to unveil. Pardon the pun. I, one I, more time. Well, okay, let's start with what features are new from last year. New from 2015 to 2016. Yes. So what we unveil showed this year that has launched this year prior to... After CES that we don't okay. know about already. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so we introduced some really great sleeping tra sleep tracking. Mm -hmm. um, this is the only device in its category, so electrical nerve stimulation, that is FDA cleared for use during sleep and is yes. available over the counter, which is a really unique feature of the device. How long can you wear it for? I don't remember. You can wear it for up to 24 hours a day. And, and how long does it last on a charge? Uh, about 40 hours of therapy, wow. so it, it depends on the user. Some people use it at a lower intensity for a shorter period of time each day, so it could be that you're recharging every four days or so. If I, if I had it on for 24 hours, how long do I have to keep it off before I put it back on? You know, you want to just ventilate the skin every now and again. So, that's so you could switch calves to the other calves? You could switch calves because it's a widespread pain yeah. relief response and you're not just 
putting it at the site of pain, you can wear it on either leg. So really the, the, the primary potential side effect is skin irritation. So you'd want to take it off to ventilate the skin. Sure. But so you maybe could you should wear it anyway. You could wear it for 24 hours a day. Yeah, we recommend every four hours. And you could have a second the... sleeve so that, right? You could have a second sleeve so that you could, mm -hmm. you know, wash the first sleeve yeah. or something. It's not a bad idea. Yeah. So um, the, the device does cycle on and off every okay. 60 minutes, and that's to get optimal therapeutic benefits. So you wear it for 60 minutes, um, running therapy, and then it's off for 60 minutes. If you minutes. could do that for an ice pack, because you know, I, I play hockey, <laughs> I get an injury, and then I'm, I'm, what, I'm icing my What is it, 20 minutes ankle. on, 20, 20 minutes, minutes on? And I gotta like, I gotta uh -huh. know what 20 minutes is, and then it's too cold, and I gotta take it off, and then it's, uh, I gotta put it back on. If you could work that out, that'd be great. I, the pro athletes have something called game on, or game time, or something, hmm. and they get it like a sleeve. With, have, you, have you seen this? this is I cool. have not. Oh my God. So they get like a little box, mm -hmm. it plugs in, uh, you put ice in the box and some water in there, and they've got these tubes that come out of it and a sleeve that goes over their leg or their arm or wherever the injury is, and it pumps cold water through the, the sleeve constantly, but it does the 20 minutes on, 20 mm, minutes off. That it, sounds cool. It, it, it stims, it does everything. Mm -hmm. yeah, it is pretty cool. Um, it's the only time I've ever seen this with pro athletes, but you made me think of that. But I'd like that to be for mm -hmm. the, the rest of us. Um, this is super cool, though. It is super cool. Um, is it like the stim you would get at physical therapy? Is that how you describe it? In terms of the sensation? The sensation and kind of the concept. Obviously, it's different. It's for a more longer-term use. Right. Um, it's something you can wear every day. You're not taking pads and, like, gluing them on, which always works well mm. on the guy with a little bit of hair on his arms. But uh, is, that, is that kind of the same... I'm not saying the same concept, but the same family of it's concepts. It's the same family of right. concepts. So you're talking about using electrical stimulation yeah. to affect an area. So um, there are some devices that are working locally, like they're working on the muscle. They're um, really not. They're not addressing uh, the nerve. They're not addressing right. tapping into the central nervous system. So they all have their purpose. Um, but this is a different mechanism of action from a lot of the, ner or the a lot of the electrical stimulators that are out there. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. I'm going to check, uh, see uh, our Slack chat, see if any of our viewers have questions for oh. you. How long have you been um, with Quell, and how did you get to the company? So I've been with the company Neurometrics mm -hmm. for three years, and I originally started with the company to work in marketing for our prescription product. So that was a pr uh, precursor to the Quell product um, called Census. And then I moved over to the Quell team when we launched the device. Jenny's watching in Finland. He wants to know. Did you say Finland? In Finland, yeah. You want to say hello to Jenny? Hi, Hi. Jenny. <laughs> yeah. Pr I mean, we have viewers all wow. over the world. They're the terrifics. Uh-huh. Yeah. That is that is terrific. Yeah, well, you know they 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 they, don't, they number. It's getting in the late in Finland. I yeah. bet it's dark. It probably is. <laughs> I think it's dark a lot in Finland this time of year, though. I, I hear it's sure. a lovely yeah. place to live. Great it's, education. It's cold. Mm -hmm. it, it's it's from the pictures Janny sends us. It's it's gorgeous. Wow. Yeah, yeah. a lot of hockey. I'd like that. So he wants to know um, how this product was conceptualized how Quell was conceptualized. So the company Neurometrics has been around for 20 years. Yeah. So our, uh, in, the company has roots at the joint labs of the Harvard MIT Health Sciences labs. So uh, originally the company was conceived as a uh, nerve conduction study device company. So it was originally devices to, um, for practitioners to use to determine nerve health. And um, so a lot of our engineers have been with us for a very long time, for practically the lifespan of the company. And so they have a lot of biomedical engineering expertise with the nervous central nervous system, and we're able to translate that to a therapeutic product, because a lot of the concepts do translate from the diagnos diagnostics to therapeutic. Did you, did you go to medical school, pre-med? Uh, how did you get interested in this field? So I became interested when I learned about the company and learned about what the company was doing and the fact that this was a chronic pain pro product and... Because, um, I mean, chronic pain, you're helping a lot of people. Yeah. With, I mean, and, and they'd either be suffering or mm -hmm. probably on Vicodin all day. It's... Maybe it's, Percocets. It's been amazing. Yeah. I mean, there are people who are on medications, like, in the opioid category. In those case studies, are we going to see, which I'm looking forward to, I love stories, mm -hmm. good stories, positive stories. Mm -hmm. Are we going to see uh, some professional athletes maybe who have had, or former professional athletes? Uh, Mark Schlereth has been using. Mark Schlereth, yep, Mark Schlereth oh, has, been really? has been using the product. Mark Schlereth has been using the product. 
So, oh, do you? Yeah. Well, you know, just Did you know that Mark Schleritz sells uh, pork rinds? And I do. <laughs> I follow his Twitter feed. So, yes, he's, he's had 12. Do you know how many? He sent Daryl Reed, my good friend who played for the Broncos, and I. Mm -hmm. I mean, more pork rinds than we could. We could have filled a supermarket with them. Well, actually, and I didn't know about Darryl the pork that, rinds. Yeah, I knew he, about the barbecue sauce. Okay. And he, told, he said, give these out in the locker room. Now he's got barbecue sauce, too, that goes with the pork rinds. Yes. Yeah. So that is some. That is some. I tell you a little yeah. secret. Daryl Reed good did cooking. not give out the pork pork rinds in the in the locker room. That's you good. He he had them all for himself. Mm. The players had to come over to his place to get them. They yeah. have their own special appeal. We really could have <laughs> could have filled a, a, uh -huh. a, a, a supermarket with them. It was kind of amazing. That's a lot of pork rinds. That's a lot of pork rinds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's a great guy though. I love Mark. So he's been wearing it. He's been wearing wow. it um, and has had good success with it. Right. And, you know, he has a lot of knee pain as a result of being a professional athlete yes. for as long as he was, 12 years, I think, in the NFL. Yeah. So, um, you know, that's certainly one of the, the applications for the device or people right. with joint pain. Uh, but as I said, we hear from people who have had debilitating pain that they have not been able to manage. CJ from the great state of Texas wants to know if it has Bluetooth capabilities and you'll have an app that works with it. Why? I'm so glad you asked. We do have an app. Now the app... See, i got to tell you something. <laughs> that seemed like the biggest setup in the world. CJ really <laughs> asked that in the Slack chat. And I, it's pretty funny. The way you answer, you're like, well, I'm glad you asked. I've been waiting all day. I thought you'd never ask. That's I have funny. my app right here. Yeah. Um, so I should say first. I guess with the sleep tracking, you need the app, number one, no matter what. Right. If For any tracking use, capabilities, right. you, you need the app. Else, but yeah. I should make it very, very clear that yeah. you do not need the app in order to use the device. Right. And I think that's really important because we do have a lot of users who don't have smartphones, mm -hmm. um, who aren't using apps. So, because um, we have a wide range sure. of users in terms of age and right. technological would expertise. It, my mother suffers from multiple sclerosis. Uh, would, would this be good for her? She'd be a good candidate yeah. for it. We should, so. do a, we should do our own case study on that. Sure. Yeah. Absolutely. But she doesn't have a smartphone, so it's a perfect example. Of yeah, perfect who, example yeah. of somebody who, who doesn't... Um, have the app who could use the device. Right. For, from a therapeutic perspective, you get all the benefits without the app. So what's, what's the app do? So I can uh, control my device remotely. So yeah. I have the ability to start, stop therapy, increase, decrease therapeutic intensity. I can also um, track where I am within a therapy session. So again, the device will run on 60 minutes, off 60 minutes. I see a battery level too. And does it track how many sessions you've had? tracks how many sessions you've had. So I can track my sleep. I can track um, some of the metrics or insights on sleep. So people with chronic pain oftentimes, as you mentioned, when you have hip pain, like you can't get comfortable, you're tossing and turning. Oh, that's the um, so you um, spend a lot of time not sleeping well, even if you're not necessarily aware of it. So one of the benefits of this app is you might see that you're getting improvements in sleep prior to noticing that you're feeling a reduction in pain because oftentimes it has an effect on some of the, the constellation of symptoms like sleep and activity before you notice that the pain itself is better. Sure. So Well, then you'd, it'd have to be getting better because you're not sleeping if you're in pain. You're really it's just, a you're terrible cycle. Well. Yeah. Like you're not sleeping well, then of course you feel terrible the next day, the pain is bad, you don't sleep, so it just it goes around and around and around. All right, yeah, I, I could see that. That makes a lot of, a mm -hmm. lot, a lot of sense. Uh, so I, I, how did Mark Schleyworth find you guys? Was it through Be Terrific? No, how did he really find you? Did, did he come to you or did you guys look for him? I believe we identified him. Wow. So we found some... Um, so give me the pork rind guy. Exactly, get me the pork <laughs> rind guy. So um, yeah, we I think we found him just based on knowing that he had chronic pain and reaching yeah. out to him Excellent. to offer this as an wow. option. And, and how much does it cost? So the device itself is $249 for bad. the starter kit. Yeah. Um, we offer a 60 day money back guarantee. Wow. So because as I mentioned, we had a, um, a user study and about 81%, it was 81% of those people said that they experienced a reduction in their chronic pain. Um, so it won't work for any, everybody, just like any treatment sure. modality, like any well, medication. Well, it's gotta trigger or, the right thing in your brain. Now, what if I have shoulder pain and knee pain? You would still wear it on your upper calf. But I mean, would it get rid of both, potentially? Potentially. Yeah. 
Yeah, everybody needs to try it for themselves, right. um, which is why we offer the 60-day money-back guarantee. And we have an amazing customer care team that is in Boston, in our office. They are professionals, and they can guide people through. Digital Phil wants to know. Digital Phil. Yeah, does uh -huh. the sleeve come in different colors? It does not come in different colors. Yeah. The accents, so there's a blue color accent, yeah. um, that does come in different colors, but it does come with the band that I'm wearing right now. Got it, so. and, and JC would like to know, one tip, one, one little, like give us one little nugget. Before I let you go, give us one nugget. Are you talking about CES 2017? Yeah, yeah, yeah. One nugget, <laughs> this is CES unveiled, this is the preview. Uh, we're doing some very interesting things with information. With information. So that's the data you're collecting with it and what you're doing to hand it to doctors and stuff like that. What we're doing to um, get insights from the data that we get from the device. So you take the data, I'm sleeping better, maybe that's less pain, I don't necessarily know mm -hmm. it, let's get that to the doctor, blah, blah, mm -hmm. blah, 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 in the uh, health kit. Health kit, I don't know if that's part of the conversation. Right. I, I, I but but am I am I close in the in the ballpark? I'm in the I'm a, I'm a, I'm on the right field. You want to get me into trouble. <laughs> no, no, no. I like you very much. I don't want to get you in trouble. I'm I'm helping I have our strict viewers orders out. All right, because of I, <laughs> IP IP concerns. All right, well, well we'll stop there, all right? We don't want to get you in trouble. Uh -huh. Now do you, get me in trouble. Do you wear this regularly, you know, when you're like if you're traveling on the plane, will you wear this or you take it off because you don't have chronic pain? I don't have chronic pain. Um, I mean People travel with it sure. frequently. I mean, can you play sports with it? Could I work out with it on? You could. And does it help the pain afterwards? Like some people take Advil before they play sports, which I think is nuts. Anecdotally, <laughs> it is indicated for, you know, post activity. Sure. And and if I just had sort of pain thing, occasionally, too. could I still try it? Not really. I mean. I don't know that you'd be happy with it because you're if you're not experiencing chronic pain and it's just an acute pain. Yeah. But if it made it go away, I'd be happy with it. You might be happy with it. Maybe not for $250, but. Oh, I would be happy with getting rid of hip pain for $250. She's Emily, I'm Michael, you're the Terrifics. Thanks so much for uh, joining us.